Storm Tracker Team Forecast with Kevin Smith. Hey, good Tuesday morning, everyone. Once again, we're into day number three for Hurricane Preparedness Week. Of course, it started on Sunday, and we really want to advise you to assemble those disaster supplies. It's never too early to do that. Meanwhile, into the tropics we go, into the Atlantic, and all is well, at least for now. We'll keep you updated on that. And by the way, tropical season starts in 25 days on June the 1st. Meanwhile, back to home, we're dealing with temperatures of 68 degrees. We're 66 into Gonzales, but notice it's a little bit warmer, like last at 72 and 72 also in the Jennings where we have some higher dew points right now at 69 67 dew point here in the Baton Rouge and you travel over towards Slidell still into the upper 50s but that uh, dry air is moving away we still have our storm system that's out to the west of us we have another area of a uh, thunderstorm that are rumbling right along Interstate 70 that's moving up toward Kansas City and some of that's now Boeing like toward Missouri most of that will stay off to the north and west of us but we have a series of disturbances moving our way plus a frontal system that that will continue to stall out and then finally move through as we'll see in the seven day. Now that first front that moved across the area this weekend, that's now a warm front that will start to migrate back toward the southwest to the northeast. And then you see all this red back toward western Texas. That's along a dry line association with an area of low pressure that will be moving in. So rain chances today, 5% or less with a high temperature of 87. And then this evening, increasing cloud cover, we're dropping it down to 67. So your seven day forecast, rain chances are on the way up and we even have a weather aware day on Thursday possibility of severe weather temperatures though into the 80s then we have that front that'll be moving through let's take a look at some traffic at least